Oh my god, what a color. What a beautiful shade. Okay, so just enough to make a paste. No. Oh, I see. Pretty much everything that's in there is fine enough to use. Okay. Everything in there is going to go back on here. Oh, okay. So, in a couple of hours, that will be dry powder. Okay. And it'll be pale blue like that. In order to uh, extract the blue from this resinous waxy mass we have to put it into a pot of lye okay and or a bowl of lye and work it around with sticks okay so the potash lye that we're going to use is made from wood ashes okay that's why it's called potash it's ash in a pot 
So these are the ashes right here. Okay. And I'm just going to put them into this pot. All right. And then we're going to heat up some water and pour that in on top of them. Okay. The product of that will be this, which is a, an amber fluid. Mm -hmm. This is what you get after you pour off whatever fluid is um, separated from minerals that go to the bottom okay. and then um, you've skimmed off the ashes from the top. So, so it's this a pretty is, intensely basic solution or? Yes, it's very alkaline. So um, that will work on the resin mass, the lapis lazuli, I should say the lazurite particles, right. will come out into the potash solution mm -hmm. and then the calcite and some pyrite will generally stay in the matrix longer. Now it'll eventually work out as well. Okay. And that's why we do it in several small batches. Okay. So we make up some warm potash solution here first and then we work the the pastille for a while with that. Okay. And the the best blue will come out first. You know, there'll be more blue released than the white calcite. And so that's part of the, the utility of kneading that so often and kind of letting it cure. Is well, we're trying the, to just mix it up. Yeah, and, okay. and then the impurities kind of embed in the, in the, the wax. Well, we shall then, hope. Or, okay, yeah, yeah. So this All is right. boiling water. Coming in with that. Yeah, and it's called pot ash because there's a pot and there's ash. <laughs> we just pour that over it. Now another way to do this would be to uh, put it into a, a big stack of straw or other reeds or even cloth and filter it that way. But it's not really necessary to do that. Okay. We're just going to give that a, a little stir. Okay. And our next step would then be to draw off the fluid but this has to settle. It really does look like it needs a couple of Shakespeare's witches stirring it though. <laughs> So what I'm going to do here is I've taken a cloth and I'm going to uh, just pour everything into the cloth and then it's going to get lifted and it's going to take a while to drip through. Okay, so you're going to treat it like a cheesecloth basically. Somewhat, yeah. Yeah. All right. And this is likely to be kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> It's quite sludgy. Oh yeah. And this is just from your fireplace here at home, right? Yep. Now normally you'd want to use something like oak wood. So if I just let that drip, you can see we're getting the right stuff. Right. And from touching it, it feels soapy. Okay. Okay. That's how we know we've oh, got yeah. the right stuff, that right. soapy feeling. So what I do not want to do is squeeze this. If I squeeze this, I'll force the ash through the fiber. Mm. And that would totally ruin what we're right, trying to do here. Right. So um, the, the next thing to do would be to uh, tie around here and, and just hang it. And is there, do you go for a particular ratio when you're making this? Of, I of did this one to, to one ash okay. to water. Okay. Um, We'll get out some pH strip and, and test it, but yeah. uh, when I touch it, it's just soapy. Right, right. At this ratio. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is put the pastille into the warm lye. All right. And then I'm going to work it with these sticks, which I'm also going to grease with the linseed oil. Just 
those bamboo chopsticks or yeah it doesn't matter yeah. just a good just because the the lye is warm yeah you want to be kind of oh, gentle yeah. with it well, you see the blue is already coming out already yeah well, it's doing its best to stick onto the bottom of the bowl <laughs> right right yeah because the bowl is warm I'm sure it's kind of melting to it mm -hmm. oh yeah I can see the change in color and this is how it's done so you can do this multiple times and each mm -hmm. time you're getting a successively lower grade of the ultramarine in terms of yeah because what's happening is um, the the lazurite comes out easier than the calcite right but it's not like the calcite is not going to come out right so the more you work it the more the calcite will be released right and so that's why the the lowest grade is the the lapis ash as they call it which yeah. is kind of that blue gray We're going to put the cloth in here and we're going to pour our lapis laden fluid into it. Okay, so a little of the scum's trying to get in there, which is a good thing I've got the cloth this time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And we can ring the blue right through. Okay. Because what you're trying to do is capture the solids in the cloth? Or, no. Or? Well, if there's any of the resin skunk, that'll come out in the cloth. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then... Then we're going to let this settle here. Yeah. And we can... Whoops. <laughs> we can <laughs> pour off what we can of the... Uh, a little bit of escape hash there. Um, we can pour off what we can of the clear lye after it's settled. Mm, right. And then we draw off everything else by pouring it back into the brick. Okay. We have a nice blue settled into the bottom here. Oh, right. yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. So I'm just going to pour off most of the fluid that's on the top. We're going to let a little run out because I'm just going to return that to the bowl, the original bowl. But look right. at that in there. Oh, wow. Yeah. So let's just return that in here. Oh, I'll do that later. All right. Um, and now. I'm going to put a little more water in on here, okay, so that um, we can you know, pour it more easily into the brick. Right. So you can oh, that's see the blue really color. well down there. Yeah. So we'll stir it up before we pour it in. Right. Once it's good and agitated, then just a matter of pouring that off. And would that be enough sample for you? I think so, yeah. All right. Oh, that's fantastic. So it's not entirely dry yet. I'll just scrape it a little and show you what's in there. Mm. All right. So. When it dries, it'll be lighter color. than that. Yeah. But still, it's just stunning. 